I found out about this trip to Macedonia um, when I got a phone call from my parents. Um, I was at work actually, and um, I was surprised to receive a call. And it was uh, my mom, and she asked if my sister and I would be interested in going to Macedonia for a mouflon sheep hunt. The plan for this hunt um, was, of course, not only to shoot uh, a mouflon for my sister and I, but also to experience uh, Macedonia as a country um, in and of itself. Um, so, you know, we were fortunate and able to, uh, you know, see the culture, um, see some beautiful parts of the country, and then also um, go to the, to the Greek side, which uh, Greece borders Macedonia. So we were able to travel over there um, and see some amazing sights as well. So in the monasteries, yeah. women aren't allowed to wear pants, so they provide skirts for you to put over um, whatever, clothing, whatever clothing you have on. So now we're, we're in style. <laughs> really neat uh, to see you know all of these things and the the sites and, and different locations it's the first morning we're out here looking for move on uh, we're walking the edges of these hills, just glassing and waiting to find a big one. Right over on top of that little knoll, one fallow. Uh, on no. top of Yes, I'm down. Okay. You see there? Oh, okay. And open? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've grown up with a pretty extensive hunting background. I took my first turkey when I was uh, eight years old. So I have been hunting for the last 18 years. Uh, growing up with a dad like Chipper um, is pretty unique. Um, my sister and I are the sons that he always wanted. Um, of course, you know, I do like my shopping and other activities, um, but I am pretty quick to get my hands dirty. Um, you know, I've grown up on a ranch my entire life, so it's pretty natural, um, and I, I'm pretty much in my element in the outdoors. He said, this one's really said, good. This one's really good. This segment of Trophy Hunters TV is brought to you by Swagger Bipods, the bipod with moves. The weather took a, a drastic turn on us. It was cold, uh, windy, and foggy. Um, so, you know, we took a different strategy and instead of being on the side of the mountains where the sun was facing um, onto the rams and, and they would be out um, in the sun, we decided to go into the valley um, and, and change our approach where they would be bedded down. Uh, so uh, we went down into the valleys to try to find them there. So right 
solve it and it comes back. We came down into this meadow to set up. Um, we had, you know, found a good spot where we thought that they would come in to feed. Unfortunately, I was laying in um, a mud puddle uh, for a few hours, uh, which wasn't ideal. Um, but uh, we thought it was, you know, a great opportunity for some mouflon to come in, uh, you know, even though there was bad weather. We did have a couple of pigs come in um, and a fallow deer, but nothing that was, um, you know, an opportunity for me to take a mouflon. Nothing moving. What? Nothing moving. Yeah. No animals. Well, the move on that we were waiting for never came in. Uh, so we're going to call it a night, pack up, and head back to camp. It's a new day, um, we're about to head out. Uh, last night, it was pretty windy, um, it's pretty cold this morning, so uh, we're about to head out and uh, hopefully they're still moving. We decided to go to a new part of the property that we had never been before, uh, but he said that there was a, a higher chance of, of them being down in those valleys um, and in other parts uh, coming out to feed in certain locations. Arriba, 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 Something about a fish, right? Yes. I don't know. <laughs> so we don't know. <laughs> Something about a fish. Uh, fish, catch bite, fish, uh, bite, yeah, fish on tail. tail. Yes. <laughs> it's for kids. Uh, my sister and I, uh, definitely have a special bond. Um, you know, we are both in our mid to late 20s, uh, but when we get together, uh, we definitely <laughs> act like we're teenagers. You're being mean to me. Uh, we giggle a lot, uh, laugh, you know, play jokes on each other. Uh, she is my best friend. Uh, she's been my best friend since I, obviously I was born, so um, it's really special to share these times together. Uh, we definitely, uh, you know, are a little bit more on the silly side, uh, but it's something that we share together and we can kind of laugh about it um, and really have a great time. This segment is provided by Big and J. The aroma is super strong. The range is super long. We woke up on the last morning um, and the weather was not what we were expecting. It was cold, uh, windy, foggy, and there was some rain on and off. Mouflon really didn't like the wind and it would, it would spook them a lot, so they stayed, um, you know, in the bushes. Uh, right now we're just stalking, um, spotting, looking for them, uh, hoping that we'll find some animals moving. Uh, right now the weather's not great, so they're not really moving a lot this morning, so uh, we're going to continue on the road back towards the back side of the property and uh, hope we can find one. The terrain in Macedonia is surprisingly uh, a lot like what you would find in Colorado. 
Um, there are hills, um, mountains, off in the distance, uh, you can see giant mountains uh, that are covered in snow, uh, snow caps at the top of them. Um, you know, the weather here is great on some days um, and then horrible on others. It's kind of been a hit or miss for us as far as the weather's gone. Um, actually, you know, the week before we arrived, uh, there was snow um, all over the ground. Uh, we did get lucky, um, it cleared up. Uh, we did have some sun, some great days. Um, you know, it was definitely ever-changing. Uh, we were able to make it work. At this point, uh, we had to once again change our strategy, uh, you know, think about how uh, we can make this a successful hunt for me so that I could get my ram. Um, the guides decided that it would probably be the best since we were in a little bit of a time crunch uh, to, you know, throw out some feed. Uh, for the rams, see if we can draw them out since nothing was moving. We checked a couple of spots, no luck there. Uh, we came up on the last spot that we were going to check uh, for, the, for the afternoon. Um, and luckily there were um, a lot of, of mouflon out uh, feeding. First one, there from the tree. No, no left of the tree. Uh, oh, it's running. No, no, no. here, oh. this group, three. This segment of Trophy Hunters TV is brought to you by Buck Knives, the official knife of the Texas Trophy Hunters Association. We set up on these rocks um, and we're trying, you know, to see which mouflon we were going to take. Um, we had uh, several challenges. They were getting stacked in front of each other. We had a lot of movement going on. Um, you know, at any point there would be another ram in front of it. Okay, his head's up, his head's down now. He's just on the back line. He's the second one from the left. Now he's the second one. There's three butts in a row. He just stepped forward.
the second hurdle um, was making sure that uh, Sasha, myself, and the camera guy were all in the same animal and following it. Um, you know, there was a ton of movement and they were going in and out of each other. Uh, he was pretty aggressive at the time. You're not following. At this point, my heart was racing. Uh, he got still. I was able to set up right on his shoulder um, and, and take that shot. Ready? I was like, not again, because I aimed below. You think he's down? Yes, we'll see. Yes! <laughs> he's dark. Oh, That's his friend. <laughs> they wait for him. Wow. <laughs> dingy, dingy, dingy. Oh, did it. <laughs> Thank you. You're <laughs> Yes. But he had a lot more yeah. broken off. This, there was one of these lines that I kept seeing from, oh, right here, this dark spot. I could see this in the scope, and that's how I would tell him. I was like, I don't even know if his camera could, could pick it up, but I kept saying, he's, he has a line on his, on his horn, because <laughs> from the scope, it was pretty dark. It was really cool to see him hit um, ram, yeah, ram another ram. I would have had to like stood up to shoot him and that's how like steep the angle was and man we were we were kind of panicking freaking out because I thought this the one was just standing there like ready and then he was like no it's that one it's the second one down there and so we all got thrown off and then they ran away but luckily you know, they came back. This has been such an amazing experience. Um, it's not every day that you get the opportunity to hunt with your family. Um, but, you know, if I get to choose anyone to hunt with, it would be my dad and my sister. Um, so it's been a really special time and, you know, we've made a lot of great memories this trip. It's one thing to say you're going to go sheep hunting and that um, you know, you're going to do these things or that your dad has done this. Uh, but it's another thing when, when my sister and I do it ourselves. Um, it was really something that I wanted to prove to myself. Um, sheep hunting is definitely one of the hardest things I've ever done. Um, and so, you know, I wanted to make sure that this was something that I was able to accomplish, um, to be proud of, and, you know, to prove it to myself that, that I can accomplish this type of hunt.